All right, guys, we're back with our next series. Somebody's got to come up with a name for these, dude. What's a, what would be a good name? I have a bunch of these interviews. But uh, someone someone shoot us a name. But I have a really important student today, really uh, so proud of this guy. He just tested for his blue belt. Congratulations, Jamie. Jamie, how long have you been doing jiu-jitsu? Eight years. So Jamie was like one of our... Um, early students, right? We've only been open for 10 years, so Jamie's been here since back in Clarksville. Um, so how old were we when you started? Like eight. Okay. Tell us about when you, who was that? That was John Allen. Oh. Tell us about when you started, Jamie. How, how was that? I was the whiniest student there, and I don't even know if you hated, like, teaching me, but you still stuck with me, so. I was so whiny and whatnot, and I thought that this was karate. Like, there was a pre- like, he did a demonstration in my school, and I was amazed and thought it was karate. I, I signed a little slip saying I was going to join up, and I did, and I was just fussy all the time. Like, I hated it at first, and then eventually I got my orange-white. And then Which I, takes a long time. Yeah. So, so um, why did you keep coming in the beginning? Really? Be, be, be honest. I think it was my parents at first. At first, I think that's really why. They made you go? Yeah. Because okay. I signed up and they just can't have that money be thrown away. So. Yeah, and I think, I think with, you know, knowing your parents, more than the money was about, you know, probably teaching you a lesson. Because his brother is one of my students as well. He's in college now, also a blue belt. And, uh, you know, I know your parents pretty well at this point. I think it was, you know, probably a little bit of the money, but also teaching you a lesson, you know, to not quit on things and stuff like that. So here's, here's my question for you, Jamie. You've been training for eight years. You're finally a blue belt. And guys, listen, like just for people out there that are watching this that maybe don't know a ton about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, blue belt is... Like, it's pretty hard to get, especially at Jamie's level. Um, you can't be a blue belt until you're 16 years old. So he started when he was eight. eight, so he had to wait eight years to get to this level. It's not like another martial art where we give the kids a black belt in three years, which, you know, I am completely against. I know some people say, well, there's good reasons behind it. No. There's no good reasons behind it. Um, I believe in making people work so they achieve real progress because he, the result of giving a kid a black belt in two, three years is a false sense of confidence and security. Jamie is 16 years old out there doing real live battle combat with grown men and beating them. You got to so proud of him for, for this uh, moment today because there's literally thousands of students along the way um, that really I blame their parents for letting them quit because kids don't quit. Well, kids will quit anything if you let them, right? If your parents didn't make you come, would you have probably stuck with it? If they didn't let me, then probably not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I know even for my kids, they need to be pushed. That's your job as the parent. It's our job as the coach to provide a um, quality learning environment and encourage the kids. Because even though, I'm not going to lie, Jamie was a very challenging student in the beginning, right? <laughs> and, and I didn't hate teaching you, but it did require some extra patience. But have I ever yelled at you or got really upset at you? No. Right? I don't believe in teaching like that. Um, maybe once or twice they have to be like, listen, Jamie, you need to work harder. Like, I know you're capable of more. Come on, let's, let's push through this. And Jamie would, he would be crying in class. Do you remember? Yeah, he said, I, remember I hate this. I hate this. I thought I was going to be doing karate. You tricked me. I hate coming. I only come because my parents made me come. The second I can quit, I'm going to quit. <laughs> this is all true. Yeah. <laughs> and then like just a switch happened because he kept coming and he got good at it. The parents saw the value. We created the positive training environment, and then Jamie eventually is coming on his own accord. He's 16 years old now. Eventually, he'll be coming driving to class on his own. So, Jamie, I want to I want to ask you a question to those parents out there that are not making their kids go to jujitsu when the kid is fighting them. What would you say to those parents as someone that was that kid that the parents had to say, "Come on, you know, maybe they had to fight you a little bit." Well. Let, like have them keep coming in like like if you just get them into a routine then they'll like start liking it and like not necessarily beat the hate out of it but like that won't even work but like just have them keep coming in like be a positive motivator to them coming in and whatnot and then eventually maybe they'll get to this uh, as long as they like enjoy it get them to 
get them to the point where they enjoy it and then they'll start really enjoying it and you'll enjoy it as well like sending them to class and then when they man hold on hold on i gotta sleep up that is great advice get them to the point where they do enjoy it and you said something important be positive right be positive tell me your parents secret what did they do like when you didn't want to go what would they say what would they do to convince you to go i think they would just like have me like I think they would just tell me in advance that they would like me to go there. I don't remember because it's been like a long time. Right. But and see, and see, here's the thing, guys. The kids don't remember you being a little bit strict with them to come. They remember what? The result. Right? Do you thank your parents now for not letting you quit? Would you thank them for letting you quit? Can you ever imagine where you'd be like, hey, gee, mom and dad. Thanks for letting me quit something. No, because I love this community here that I've been a part of for like a long time. Like, I, I'm now here. Like, people have some supported me for getting this. I'm thankful for them. And I wouldn't, like, be a great person like I am right now if it wasn't for this community. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thankful for here. Yeah. I think you'd still be a great person because you, you have a great family. But it definitely helps. It, it's a contributor to your to your success in life. You know what I mean? Um, one last thing, if you don't mind talking about this, I know there's a particular student that helped motivate you that you mentioned to me earlier. Um, there was, a, there was a man in class that's not an instructor here. Um, that kind of helped you along, right? Weren't you telling me about that? Would you mind talking about that a little bit? About the person who was helping Mis me out? Mr. Keith, you said, right? Yeah, it was. Tell, talk to me about that. Um, it was like a couple, it was a couple months ago, back in June when I heard about the test, I was qualify at least as far as age and belt i was qualified and i i mean he just he was like he would work with me in um classes he would say he would work with me in classes and even like whenever i would see him in sunday classes the open roles he would help me out with that and whatnot he like would motivate me and he's even been saying i'm ready for this i just gotta focus on the self-defense and he knows my rolling. He knows I was ready for the rolling. As long as I was focused on the, um, what's it called? The self-defense test part. That after, like, I got through that, then he knew I, he was confident that I could like, get here and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that I think that speaks largely to the community we build here. Again, um, you know, the name of the school is Rising Tide Academy now. Um, that goes right along with that. The Rising Tide helps and lifts all ships. And also, and I just remember this, forgot about this. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a young man that came to us with some learning disabilities and he was having some, some problems and, you know, um, Jamie stepped up and Jamie was like this kid's mentor and Jamie really helped him a lot. I don't know if you realize how m much of an impact that that had in that kid's life. So like, this is like, you know, just the whole idea. Jamie's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't promote someone just because I like them or they've been training for a long time. You've really earned this, bro. And I just want to let you know how proud I am of you. You are one of like very few people. I can think of only a few other people that have made it all the way from kid white belt all the way to blue belt. And that's a motivator for my son here too, man. He's a gray belt now, right? And he'll be yellow belt soon. I mean, he started when he wasn't that much younger than you. He's six. My daughter's eight. They look up to you, man. It's like, oh, I can do that. I think it's like you, your brother, Julia, and Connor Brainerd are the only ones. To get blue belts, right? Justin? Did Justin get his? I, I think so. It's not many, is the point, right? Um, so, Jamie, keep up the good work. This is just the beginning. Anything else you'd like to say to the people out there that are maybe thinking about starting jujitsu or starting their kids in jujitsu? Once you get into the routine of this, keep going. Like, go with the flow of this, and then you'll enjoy doing this a lot. Like, Keep just keep doing it, and you'll have a lot of fun. You'll get you'll get here eventually if you keep doing it. Don't quit and have fun doing it as well. That's what I, that's what I gotta say. <laughs> awesome, Jamie. I'm real proud of you, bro. Bring it in here, Sonny boy. You're my boy, Blue, and now he's a blue belt. <laughs> Good job, son. Yeah, I'm really proud of you. You want to say anything, Lukey boy? Mm -mm. Are you gonna be a blue belt one day? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.